Hello, it's Zard1084 again. Short time to show off my, the third class of Tea Party classes. <laughs> this one right here is Smash the Echidna. He's strictly melee, as you can see. Triple punch tag. As you can see on the left, you can actually see what it does. By switching weapons, currently, it's planned where you can just do it like Smash both spots. Style. Super Smash Bros. style, and like, be like, press the direction and the, like, press left and then all fire. You do uh, attack. Uh, yeah, that was ranging charge just then. If you're in mid area, you do a different attack. As in, see, ground, aerial. Smash is strictly melee, and thus he has a lot of, a lot of armor. As you see. The ranging charge is first weapon you, you get. Well, start off with changing weapon. Seven stars and smashing descent is also a fairly devastating attack. It's a charge attack where you have to hold down all fire. You heard that sound? That's, that means it's full. If you get a direct hit with the seven stars, it can be an instant kill on most classes. Like that. If you tap it, you can stun people. Yeah. Oh. Aerial attack and smashing descent. Pretty cool. This one is the other weapon. They all have the same main fire, as you can see. Just also different. Bone Crusher. Yeah, very devastating. Pretty cool. Neat, neat HUD that smashed it. Spin Punch is just top spin in midair. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. See, this one is where he really shines. Super uppercut. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Very devastating attack. If you if you time it just right, you can instantly kill someone with this. Ego Killer is, just knocks people down and does gravity uh gravity hold damage. So the higher up you are, the more damage you do. Very good anti-air attack. Which you have to use in the air. Where's that by? There we go. Show you how devastating Smash is. Where is he? Base, where are you? I want to break your face inwards. Where is he? Also fitting stage. <laughs> Ice cap stuff to the stage. Are you in charge? Base was run First down by Guard 184's rending charge. Yeah, as you can see, he can actually survive quite a bit of damage. Since he's strictly melee. Oh, I forgot. He has a special thing. You know those little things that Thunderclaw can hook onto? He can grab those with his bare hand if you punch it. You are tied for the lead. Oh, oh well. Alright, on to the next class in part four.